apparently in a show of support over Trump being fined three hundred and sixty four million dollars for committing fraud in New York. MAGA cultists flooded to one of Donald Trump's golf courses yesterday. I'm going to play a couple of interviews for you. And as I said yesterday, when looking at some video clips, this could be very disturbing to children. Some of these people may be under the influence of alcohol. I'm not totally sure. They are definitely all suffering from MAGA brain worms, also known as the real Trump derangement syndrome. And I'm going to play for you evidence of what happens when you are in a cult. And here's what I need you to be thinking of as we look at this. What's easier? Convincing one of these cultists not to vote Trump or finding 10 people already on the left and just encouraging them to get out and vote. That's the that's the question. Listen to this. We, the people, support our our greatest president, President Trump and President's Day, the year 2024. And I got this is the year where I got President Trump is going to be elected again for the third time. And you got we, the people, had enough of Joe and the Democrats. So this is this is the most important election in our nation's history is either uh, freedom or socialism. We're here to support our our freedom over socialism. So President Trump is our last hope and he is he is our savior for our nation, for our freedom. He is our last hope. He is our savior for our nation and our freedom. And this is not a cult we are supposed to believe. Next, they spoke to Ronnie. Ronnie says he used to love watching sports and hanging out. Then Trump entered the political scene and now he just watches Fox News. Well, basically, four years ago, I started watching Real America's Voice. I'm a big sports guy, but I stopped watching sports completely because when sports went woke, I dropped them. And I was I used to watch Fox News up until about four years ago. And I dropped Fox when Fox News couldn't say that Florida won for Trump and they. Oh, I gotcha. He started watching Fox when Trump came on the scene, but now Fox isn't right wing enough. And they said Arizona was Biden or whatever they did when they messed all that up. I knew that wasn't my channel and I left phone news back then. And I found Steve Bannon on War Room and I was searching for answers. And I've been watching it. He was searching for answers. Can you imagine? Since Raheem was on back then and a um, couple of the other uh, them, um, couple of the other guys, but I've been I've been religiously watching Real America's Voice, especially Steve Bannon. I try to get all four hours in, and if I can't watch all four, I videotape it and watch it when I can. But four hours a day. By the way, Steve Bannon has a four. I didn't even know Steve Bannon had a four hour show. That sounds clinically insane. Uh, this guy's watching four hours a day of Steve Bannon, four hours a day. I'd love to know this guy's view on Taylor Swift, by the way, I'm sure. I'm, and, and on vaccines, I think he, he probably would have some fascinating stuff to say. Uh, here is a woman who says she loves Trump because he has done so much for black people. Your names and what brings you here today? Hi, my name is Susan and I am here to support President Trump, our true president. Joy, and I'm here to also support Trump and save our country. So do you guys come to these events often? I know it's 100 percent grassroots organized. Yes, I come out every Thursday. We have a bunch of patriots that meet somewhere between West Palm and Boynton Beach to support our president and wave our flags proudly. How about you? Um, I actually this is the only like the second event I've been to, but I was at Mar-a-Lago last weekend. How was that? At Trumpet's event, as was Susan. Oh, it, was it was so fabulous. fabulous and fabulous. we were so happy to be there. Well, Trump is our people's president and he has America behind him. And that is what is killing the deep state. They don't like it. They know they're going down. He's really the one that's done more for the black American, the Asian, the Hispanic community than any other president, as well as the common man. So listen, how do you deprogram cult members? Not that this is how we're going to win elections. We're not going to win by depro deprogramming these people. We're going to win by out turning out them, out turn outing them. I don't know the right way to say it to deprogram people like this. You have to assess how deep they are in the cult and their connection to it. You have to build trust with them. 
You have to create an environment in which they would be comfortable considering or reconsidering their support for the cult leader. You would have to be able to provide them information, but in a way that isn't beating them over the head with it. You would have to inspire them to self reflect. You would have to provide emotional support and give them a path to credible reintegration to society outside of the cult. And then you would have to monitor and support them on an ongoing basis to make sure they don't get sucked back in. That's a lot of work. And I'm not saying that if this is your aunt or uncle or your brother or sister or your mom and dad, that that's not a worthy cause to get them out of the cult. It is. But we're not going to win elections by deprogramming these people in the next eight and a half months. That's just the reality. And so the the uh, uh, light bulb moment needs to be, oh, I can cancel out each one of these votes by voting myself. If I vote, I cancel out the woman on the left's vote. And if you vote, you cancel out the woman on the right's vote. That has to be the approach. I hope we do it.